Hello everybody, welcome back to Motorsport Manager, where last time we uh, we did the practice run. And it went decently. It went decently, that's all I can really say about it. But yeah, we I believe we are about to go into game... Is this game 10 out of 10? It might be game 10 out of 10. We might be nearing the end here. Hmm. Mm hmm. We'll see, we'll see. I do believe that might be the case. Yeah. Alright. We're in Russia. Oh, yes, it is. This is the last round. It's the Black Sea Grand Prix. Well, there go our chances of gaining more scoring points. If everyone recalls how the Black Sea went last time, if I remember right, it went very poorly indeed. But maybe we'll get lucky. Yeah. Sure we will. It's raining, too, so... Well, it's reflecting the weather outside, that's for sure. Um... <laughs> sure. I mean, that's not gonna help, but... Might as well, right? I'll take great handling. It's just gonna keep rain, rain. We, this is a very, this is gonna be a very intriguing race. We have Andre Gomez in first, with Nick Shu bringing in second. Aurelia Dembele in third, with Alex Rogers bringing in fourth. Bao Tong in fifth. Luigi Marchetta in sixth, followed by Sergio Valdez in seventh. Falco Engelhart in eighth. With we have Mustafa El Sadat in ninth, Marja Vignanen in tenth, Eduardo Melo in eleventh, Claudio Dreyfus in twelfth, Sergei Antonov in thirteenth, with Amanda Calvacanti in fourteenth, followed by Eda Jean Dottier in fifteenth, and Tanvir Ja in sixteenth, Jean Francois Beauchamp who is injured in seventeenth, Jean Pierre Girard in eighteenth, Andre Sabato in in 19th, and we round it out with Sergio Arbeloa in 20th. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's race. We have 15 laps ahead of us. And we're going to be stuck on wet tires probably the whole race, unless this weather breaks at some point, which it looks like it might by lap 4. Nope, not the story. Okay. Note to self, build a weather radar next semester. Next, next semester. Next season. Next semester. That'd be, that'd be a neat trick. Oh, especially if I'm hoping to graduate, that'd be, a, that'd be rather unfortunate, all things considered if I was doing this next semester. Instead of after work. Right, Gomez is still in the lead somehow, though it looks like he might be losing positions. Yeah, his pace is still zero. That's not great. Come on, Engelhart, you can do it. Push ahead. No one wants to be all that reckless because it is wet on the track. Knowing with that in mind, it's like someone's going to slip and break their neck. Or a different body part. Engelhart is continuously falling behind. Lord, come on, you can do it. Gomez is now sharply declining in position. That's not great. As is Falco. Come on, guys, we at least need 60. That's all I'm asking. Okay, okay when Engel gets done two laps left, we'll bring him in, then we'll bring Gomez in one lap of wheels to kind of alternate them out. Gomez actually got a good time at the middle sector here. I 
wish we could get some purple. Oh, Falco is up to 16. Gomez is down to 18. I see we're selling into our usual race positions now. That's unfortunate. I'd like for Falco to do better. He's, He's frankly refusing to. Her spot projector is going to go mad for a while. Not quite sure why we're racing so poorly, but we are. This is probably the worst we've ever raced, to be honest. You're pitting the slap, Falco. Um, we've got five to seven laps left on those. Okay. Try to go for a five second pit stop. Chu is charging ahead for all it's worth. And Falco is not being very, uh, aggressive this time around, which isn't amazing, I'll be honest. There he goes, finally. That's why he need, needed, yeah. Oh, you almost got past him, too. That's fine. Pink Heart's now charging in the pits. Good job on that pit stop, ain't Falco. Uh, let's change your tires out. Go. Pit ranking is first. Great. Eglart's now far behind, though, with a couple others. Hold on. Um, we might be able to get away with intermediates. Maybe, just maybe, we can get away with them. Because it looks like water is going to be decreasing to about a mediocre level. Hmm. Oh boy, this is a definitely a choice to make. Fast forward, I did not mean to do that. Yeah, we're going to switch out for immediate, so we'll see what happens. Oh, Gerard has retired. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Okay. So my reasoning for this is, look, the, the water level is going to be continuously dropping from here on out. So I'm thinking that means that uh, intermediates might have a better advantage, but we'll see. Engelhardt is in fourth somehow. Hope we can keep that up. Uh, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Yep, yep, see, Jones Lutz here is also switching out for intermediates. I think I made the right choice here. Gomez, doing well. Okay, so in two laps, I'll pit Engelhart for a final time, and we'll switch out his tires and his fuel. Will that be? Yeah, that'll be fine. I'll still be in range. Gomez in 14, that's all right, that's all right. He's in, can't decide which he's in. Okay. And Falco's still in 7th, that's fine. Wish it was better than that, but that's fine. I need to get as much gas out of this as I can. In fact, we'll probably pit next race.
Yeah, I was going to. There you go, there's your immediate. Fill you up on fuel. Damn it. No, we have to go one more lap, Bunker. We really do. Yeah, we definitely have to go one more lap. It might not make sense right now, but trust me, you need the fuel for that. Now we'll do it. Barely enough fuel to make it. Maybe. And the heart is pitting for intermediates. He's getting his fuel loaded up. <coughs> Sorry, we're gonna switch back down to uh, that fuel strategy because there's just enough fuel. Oh, Gomez, you're definitely pity. Um. Do we want to switch out the tires? Several, hold on, let me look. Yes, we want to switch out tires. That way I can just burn them. Okay, here we go, guys. We're going to see if this pays off the way I think it might. Because we don't have enough tire to finish this. We really don't. Inkhart now the one in ninth. Gomez now the one in 15th. Just switching off. You know, it's a tag team effort. Yeah, it's weird that Gerard retired. He might have had an accident. Though he was injured previously, if I remember right, so that might be it. We'll see. Our fuel badly, we really do. I think Engart will just have just enough fuel to finish the race. <laughs> Gomez, though, Gomez has plenty of fuel to spare, which is good. In fact, not yet. One more lap. Alright, uh, Gomez is doing new personal best, that's good news. Now that you're on the Amidas, is probably helping them drive. Ooh, things can get dicey towards the end here, I think. Feel it. Angar just set a new best. That's good. Okay, two laps left. You've got almost four laps. Yeah, go for it. In fact, just go. Burn, burn it off, Gomez. Just burn it off. Angar, you can't. <laughs> you are. I. Frankly, I don't know how your fuel strip situation is going to look in the end, but it's not going to be pretty. But Gomez is going to start eating up track. That's good. But Falco just needs to keep burning ahead like he's doing. At this point, all I want is a good position. This is a better bit. Oh. oh, we have people coming into the pits. Oh boy. Oh yes. Oh yes indeed, you, you've seen it just like I have. Falco Anghart is now in third place with Gomez in seventh. Who could predict that? This is great. This is great news. In fact, they're both having some of the best sector, t sector lap times they've had. In fact, I believe it might be because they're pitting in for... Yeah, yeah. I also don't know why they pitted in. Interesting. Interesting indeed.
Uh, you're fine. How's your heart condition? Looking fairly awful, but this is the last race, so I'm not too concerned. Okay, Falcon, you know what to do. Gomez, you also know what to do. Just push it. Never mind, don't push it. <laughs> Falco, you just got to stick with what you've got, because I'm not sure you have enough re gas to finish the race, but we'll see. Gomez definitely still does. No, I'm going to pull him back down, too. He's in set, that's fine. And Falco... Go for it. I'll take fourth from the Falcon, I will. So I wish you'd gone third, but, you know, you're at fuel. Oh, just scraped by. Wow. Yeah, we didn't get on the podium, but Falco ran out of fuel literally as he crossed the finish line, as did Gomez, so... That was a tight race, but, uh, I'm happy with how we did it. I am. I'm very happy with how we did it. That, uh, the, that last minute pit on a lot of the drivers and parts of the things will seal the deal for us. We've had a bit of an upset in the uh, racing community today. Let's see how that pans out though. Hopefully we get some more better cash from it. We'll see. So our strategy of two pit stops as usual worked out perfectly. I think that's why I I always want aim for doing at max two pit stops, because when we do, it goes great. Though, Falco only had one, because I had him hold out just a little bit longer for those intermediates. I think that, yeah, so it's the only deal, yeah. Gerard goes out here. Let's go to our continue mode. Screenarian, anyone have any naughty, naughty parts? Nope. That puts uh, the Falco in third. Oh, interesting. Oh, someone did. Oh, some people had bad parts. <laughs> Great, we got third. Falco got on the podium. Well done to Falco. That's a that's a bit of a, uh, a surprise there for everybody. He's in 10th now, and Gomez has moved up to 17th. That's a good way to end the season on our, our part. We're still in 7th, because Octane Racing managed to stay 6 points ahead, but that's fine. That's better than we have thought. Yeah. Oh wow, that's a huge turnaround from the practice where people say that we had no chance. I didn't think we had a chance, and then this happens. All right, let's get to the uh, the screen here, and that will be it for today. At some point, you know, since it's a screen. There we go. Uh, and we. And did anyone get any points? Oh yeah, Gomez just got a huge hit to his morale, so did Falco. We, oh boy, we ended up being five million ahead, that's good. And here are the uh, results for the world in Asia Pacific. And then European racing. With Engelhart right there, yes! Go, Engelhart, go! Sergio Abeloa is the uh, world champion for this season. That's fine. Frankly, to be expected. Mm -hmm. They got their disc, the spinny disc there. We got 10th, which we got 7th, which actually isn't by the lead, so hopefully we get some winnings. Hopefully. Hopefully, indeed. Is it ever going to save? Yeah, it did. Alright, guys, so that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Yes.